one of the, the things that he's, he points out here, men of Israel, listen to this. Jesus of Nazareth, Nazareth was a man accredited, approved by God, and you put him to death. So one of the things that is difficult to uh, understand is the sovereignty of God why he lets some things happen and why he uh, doesn't fix or prevent other things uh, from happening. But one thing for sure, uh, even in the midst of that, um, it, P Peter says, listen. And then he explains what you need to hear, what you need to know. And what he is explaining is that God is sovereign. You unwittingly participated in the in the the, the death of, of Christ. Even in your pride and your arrogance, God was still still in control. You didn't thwart the, the plan of God. You didn't stop it. You didn't slow it down. God is still in control. And so he says in verse 23, this man was handed over to you by God's set purpose and foreknowledge. So that's a, <clears throat> a difficult thing to understand, but if I'm going to be a mature believer in Christ and a mature follower of him, um, I'm going to learn to accept, learn to see the sovereignty of God in the events of my life as I'm following him, and then choose to believe that. And <clears throat> like I always say, we're not groping around, um, you know, like blind, blind, trying to understand um, uh, God. We have plausible, reasonable, uh, intellectually honest reasons and explanations for the things that we um, we believe. This whole by faith thing, and so because of those ideas, we're compelled to go ahead and, and uh, place our faith uh, in Christ and continue to follow Christ by faith for the things that we don't fully understand or may not like. We have compelling reasons that, uh, that we can keep on, keep on following, following Jesus.